follow that up. We're going to have a QA and a uh, now with Sherry and Nathan. Uh, it'll be open for them, so please, if you have questions or anything, uh, raise your hand and we'll get you a microphone.
never has a name said earlier that there's a number of white men that parties in the room. You know, we may have passionate disagreements and conversations, but it's never a fight. It's always about being passionate about finding the best ways to make things work. sacrifice their jobs to cheat for those kids because their motive values were corrupted. They were trying to battle for kids who are in an education system that doesn't value creativity at all. Just learn the test. If you don't pass it, then we're going to take your money over. And actually, in terms of uh, when the introduction was made, it was an old line bio because it said that I was a member of the Corps of School Board. I was a member of the Corps of School Board for four years, from 2004 to 2008. And many a time, uh, I've realized that the true meaning of the term illegal alien, a term that I don't like to use, does apply to politicians. <laughs> and um, I was, I'm glad that I had four years of understanding what goes on in those back rooms in terms of those meetings. Um, and what I realized uh, is that um, the education of uh, children is uh, low on the priority list in many of those uh, back rooms, unfortunately. But me, me being able to be there from an, and look at it through the artist's eyes has empowered me in ways that allowed me to be able to teach others uh, about how to deal with that system. Uh, as Nathan has just said, it's not about uh, educating, but simply having you know, these children be able to shade in the proper 
what they feel, what they watch. And this is time to open the spaces for, um, for to make that the people resist the violence. It's like one protection when the people can to express that they feel it's like you can clean inside the scared bad feelings, bad emotions. I uh, only want to share that the art in my city concrete regime that is the more violent city in the world in the 90s. And now it's one potential city of art thanks to this because we have much violence in the past and the unique option that have the kids is to dance, to sing, to take one instrument. And one thing particular that happened too is that most kids when just watch guns want to be gangsters in the future because the kids want to, want to be when you are big and kids say I want to be one gangster like my brother. Uh, when they have experience in concerts, when they watch artists, they change their mind. And you question the kids what they want to be when you are big and the kids say I want to be dancer, I want to sing. Uh, this is one beautiful thing that the hip hop original
Pop respects for you. Pop respects me. So, so we should, so we should respect it. Um, hip hop samples us all day long. That's a sign of respect. But they go back and get at the eyes of the brothers, temptations, get riffs from those cats. That's respect. Um, but when you come out of a war zone, guess what? Your heart is going to be. challenges what you're doing, be able to articulate your art, and you can get game respect for that. But if you can't articulate your art, then guess what? They're going to disrespect you, and then the people who have the money are going to come take it away from you. And then 30 years from now, when they tell them it's going to be then it's going to be all skewed. It's going to be all whacked. Because you didn't tell the story.
First, I would like to represent Mecca Marsh. She is the director of this student center, this beautiful student center, which was just opened this year. And uh, she's managing this whole center, and she was very accommodating. And the most, most helpful person that I've ever met. Thank you very much. She has a beautiful office manager, Yana Harris, who's standing behind her. She's going to all the details, including how to hang this poster on this wall. So, <laughs> and uh, there's a person who's missing here, Steve Cushing. He's not here. He's the guy who's in the AE setup and the layout of this floor. And uh, also, two other persons who are not here uh, is Dante. What a beautiful name. Dante and Mike for the event staff. And we helped us set up everything here. And then Professor Thomas Hilton, who was here earlier, and uh, who is a professor at uh, TCC Virginia Beach, uh, no, TCC. and he's instrumental in helping us creating a student club here at TCC. So we would like to acknowledge him as well. And of course, our own Colin Smith, who is a professor. <laughs> power and passion, um, even though not an artist. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But anyway, you know, we all love Colin, so he's the one who's here and the whole, uh, you know, uh, even here. And um, of course the Student Association, which is called SGA, or the TCC. And um, moving on forward, we have Gloria, who is our region public uh, relations uh, coordinator, along with the PCR committee members who are in here who made this available to all the public. And uh, also the committee members, if you're, a uh, you know, few of you are here, I want to acknowledge who is here. And uh, Diane, who's sitting in the back. And, 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 and all the, uh, you know, uh, Judith, who was you know, at the reception, and then uh, yes. you know, Catherine Duvall, and a lot of others who are here. And also the high drum performers. And finally, um, Nathan and Sherry, thank you very much for being here. It really means a lot to us, you know, you say you're creating and evolving, but actually, no, you're actually <laughs> handing down your life to us, and it's an eternity. You know, we live your life as she just pointed out. So it's the same air that we breathe, that we're breathing in, and, and breathing out, standing for truth and justice. And as uh, Sherry pointed out, art illuminates life for a great statement, right? And art is a balance, and art illuminates life. I just want to read a very small quote from uh, uh, President Daisa Piquet of South Africa International. And it says, artists of the earth are experts in the art of life, who help transform themselves on the most fundamental level and gain true inner happiness. Their wisdom and actions are based on profound philosophy that both they and the others possess the true nature of their own life to stand up for justice. This belief enables them to overcome self-centeredness and negative tendency and bring the power of compassion inherent in the universe to flow forth abundantly. So with this inauguration ceremony, we're going to have a different kind of gap for this. We would like this, this whole universe to respond and flow freely in terms of expressing and standing, standing up for truth and justice. And once again, thank you very much for, here, for being here.